Good morning, guys. Today, I'm Miss Henderson. I am going to be demonstrating to my class, my CNA class, how to clean a Foley catheter. Um, sometimes a patient is unable to void on their own, and the nurse or the doctor has to insert a Foley catheter to the, um, so they can void, so they, they could uh, empty their bladder. Because imagine, if you're not able to void, to urinate, your stomach gets all um, distended, you get pain, so sometimes patients have what you call urinary retention, they retain in their urine. So in order to drain it, the nurse or the doctor inserts a Foley catheter. The CNA function with the Foley catheter is not to insert it, but to clean it. So we have to clean it clean it and that's what I'm going to show you guys today how to do how to clean the Foley catheter as always these videos are meant to deepen your understanding if you like these types of educational material please consider um, subscribing to my youtube channel please like and share and drop your comments below so the first thing my my equipment for this skill is a chalk I need a chalk to place under my patient to protect the bed from getting soiled. I have I have soap. Sorry guys. I have soap and I have several washcloths and I have a privacy um towel. So I'm going to knock. Hello, good morning. How are you? Hi, my name is Miss Henderson. I'm going to be your CNA today. And today I am here to clean your Foley catheter. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go wash my hands, come back, and gather my equipment. So you go, you wash your hands, 15 to 20 seconds, you come back. When you come back, the next thing you wanna do is to identify your patient. Make sure it's the correct patient. Hi, Mrs. Jones, how are you? You check the ID band of the patient and you ask her her date of birth. So she said, what is your date of birth? 1964. Okay, she gives me her um, date of birth and I check her ID band. So those are the two identification. The next thing I want to do is to lock the bed. Make sure your bed is locked. Make sure your privacy curtain is pulled make sure you raise your bed to working level why do you want to raise your bed to working level because you want to maintain proper body mechanics to prevent back injuries so I've raised my patient's bed to working level to prevent back injuries um, I pulled my curtain so these are called all the indirect skills, guys. Introducing yourself to the patient, knock before you go in, pulling the privacy curtain, locking the bed, raising the bed to working level. All of these are um, indirect skills. skills. You need to do that. With every skill you do, you have to do that. So you come in. Um, Mrs. Jones, I am going to place a protective barrier under you to protect the bed from getting soiled. Is that okay with you? She said yes. First, I'm going to let my patient check the temperature of the water. Can you check the temperature of the water? Is it too hot? Is it too cold? She said it's okay. All right. So, if I have to turn my patient on the side, the head of the bed has to be what? Low. Low, right? Because you don't want to turn her and the head is too high. Okay. Make sure you use proper body mechanics. So, you're going to fan fold. I'm going to fan fold the sheet. I'm going to move my patient closer to me in a count of three so I can place it. One, two, three. 
I'm gonna one, two, three. I'm gonna place my chalk under my patient to protect the linens from getting soiled. One, two, three. So now, I have it exposed. The Foley catheter is exposed. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to apply this privacy um, towel. Put this privacy towel because you don't want to expose your patient, you know, areas that you're now working so we have the privacy we have the foley catheter i hope you guys can see because the um the angle of the camera sometimes it's hard to um it's hard to see okay so guys i'm gonna use the four corners there are two things two methods you can use you can use the mitt and this is how you make a mitt With the mitt, you have two wipes, one and two. But if you use the four corners, you have four wipes. One, two, three, four. Apply some soap. So you hold the catheter from the insertion side. Right here is the insertion site. Hold it here, securing it, and then you wipe from four inches down. So this is contaminated now. We're gonna hold that back. Hold the insertion site two. Three. Four. So this is our soapy water. Now we're gonna have what? Rensing water, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have rensing water here. We also gonna have a drying towel to dry. This is our rensing water. One, two, three, and now guess what you get a drying towel and you pat it what dry pat it dry this goes into the hamper, hamper. Mm -hmm. place it into the hamper okay we have a patient back in a good position so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the chalk and put a dry chalk. Because remember the chalk we had under Mrs. Jones has water on it, it's soiled. So we have to replace it with a dry chalk. So Mrs. Jones, we're going to turn you to the side to replace your um, chalk. This goes into the trash can, and then you cover your patient. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go wash my hands and dispose of everything. So you, you throw, dispose of this, wash and disinfect your basin three times, dry it with a um, towel, and place it back in its designated area. Take your gloves off. Dispose it into the trash and wash your hands for 15 to 20 seconds. Um, 
Come back to your patient. Hi, Mrs. Jones, how are you doing? She's doing okay? Yes. All right, so now I'm going to place my bed in the lowest position. Make sure when you're leaving your patient, you place the bed in the lowest position because you, you want to prevent falls and you want to promote safety. Uh, Mrs. Jones, here is your call bell. This is your call bell. If you need anything, please call me and um, I will be sure to attend to your need. Um, do you like to read a magazine? Do you like to look at TV? Okay. You like to look okay. at TV? Okay, so here's the TV remote. You can watch TV, okay? Oh. All right. You. Now my skill is Complete. completed. Tell your evaluator your skill is now completed. When you say that, you cannot go back and correct yourself. If you make a mistake during the procedure, say, I need to correct myself. And you, like, for example, if you forgot to leave the bed in the lowest position, you forgot to give her her core bed, say, I need to correct myself. Come back, do your thing, and then say your skill is completed. So guys, thank you again for tuning in to this channel. And um, thank you for watching. Um, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, it will mean a lot to me. It shows that, you know, you're supporting me. Um, these videos, you know, it's just to help you guys to prepare you. You know, some students learn by visually looking at a video. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.